So this bus is a 1952 standard micro bus, um, factory equipped with a sunroof, which it's a fairly rare option um, because back in the day there wasn't a lot of options and they were quite expensive uh, and quite unusual for people to order custom order vehicles. Uh, that just really wasn't in existence yet. You didn't, you know, uh, go to your dealer and write down what you want. They kind of brought a batch of vehicles and they took a long time to produce, a long time to get there. If you ordered something special, it would take a really long time. Um, Interesting thing about this vehicle, it was originally delivered to Colombia, which seems unusual because South America, you know, not a huge economic center, obviously, and these were fairly expensive vehicles at the time. So tracing back over it, um, there was a lot of vehicles imported to Colombia around that time, specifically Volkswagen, because they were very versatile. They dealt with the hot climate okay. They were small little micro buses. You could take a lot of people. You know, they were good value for that time, right? And for some reason, importing into different countries had different tariffs. In Colombia, it was a favorable tariff for them to bring them in. So there was a lot imported there. So in the Volkswagen scene, what's happened is um, there's a lot of old, cool Volkswagens in Colombia. Unfortunately, that's not a good thing because the roads are really bad. And they were on the road for 50 years. So they were used. They were in accidents. They got cracks in the body just from driving on terrible roads. And the overall condition of the vehicles is awful. They've been updated. They've been painted five times. They, you know, tried to change any component possible. If something got stolen or lost, they'd replace it with some other part from some other completely different vehicle. Uh, they would weld doors closed if needed. If they, you know, the hinges broke, they would, you know, labor is inexpensive for them. So for them to weld it, paint it, grind it, fill it with filler, make it look new again, is a different thing than how we would do it here. Just keep it on the road. Right? The actual structure of it was basically bent and twisted. So it needed to come completely apart down to every last panel in order for a total reconstruction. So it's not we're storing a car, like sanding it down, putting a new paint job on, new interior, and drive away. It was an absolute, every last panel was off it, uh, acid dipped, and then reconstructed. So it was in bad shape. Short. Um, in total hours, I probably have 800 to 1,000, um, the biggest portion of which is metalwork. And I always want to get my projects done quickly, like within one year. And some people find that unbelievable, the amount of hours you know, to find in a year to do it. But I find if I don't do it, I lose motivation on it. And then it just sits there. And I've got several incomplete projects to prove it. It's like you have to get it done quickly. Um, otherwise, you've lost your own motivation. It's just, it'll never happen. You'll never get back to it. I did this one in particular was there was a big uh, meet in California where they were organizing as many of these barn door buses as possible. It was about 900 in the world and I believe they had about 85 in attendance at the show so you know pretty cool thing to get it done for that. The drive down there as part of it we go with friends we do a little convoy and um, it's for me vehicle restoration is interesting. I, I really really like the actual work the 
the reward of seeing it finished and that kind of thing, and then afterwards the it, you don't use it as much as you think, really, it kind of sits around, but uh, it is definitely rewarding to see what's happened from where it came from. Um, like you mentioned, this is really a hobby for me, this can't be part of our day-to-day -day business, unfortunately, it's just too laborious. The, the numbers I mentioned there, if we actually translate those into the customer's invoice, it would be incredible. Um, but it's a hobby, I like it, it's not really a source of revenue, it's yeah, stress relief, believe it or not. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.